Uh, welcome to Marriage and Life Stories with Kansi Me. Today I want to do uh, an analysis of a relationship that touched me in a couple of months. And this is the relationship between Flavia Tomsime and Andrew Kavura. Probably everyone who reads news, newspapers and listens to radio or maybe on social networks heard about the unfortunate event that folded in the lives of these two people. Uh, which involved cheating, cheating. One, uh, the husband cheating on the wife. I don't know whether it was true that he did it, but I am assuming that he did it and it is true. And so what we are analyzing today is what actually was done right, what could have been uh, a disaster, um, probably turned out to be... Uh, you know, there were shock absorbers that were created around uh, that situation. These are my personal, personal uh, opinions. And so they don't, uh, they are, I cannot say they, that this is what exactly happened, but I am just going through an assumption that cheating happened. And uh, I am discussing my personal opinion about the way this situation was handled. Now, before we proceed further, I'll ask you, if you have not subscribed, please do subscribe for me, like this video, uh, share a comment, because when you share a comment, it's interactive. Share your experiences, what you know about such a topic, and then we will grow together. Okay, uh, a story came out uh, highlighting that Andrew Kabura had cheated on Flavia with some lady at the French embassy. Apparently, this lady was born again, and she's beautiful, and she's young, and she's married. When that story came out, I watched people come out and judge. Everyone judged Andrew. They threw stones at the other girl. Everyone expected Flavia Tomsime to jump out of this marriage and, and to go away. They expected for her to announce a separation and a divorce Boy, oh boy, were well, people so shocked and surprised and their words, words dried in their mouth. I admire the way Flavia Tomisime handled this. She kept calm and I am so sure she was hurt. If it is true and cheated, she must have been hurt. She must have been hurt to the bone because this was a sign of betrayal, a sign that will probably even make you feel inadequate. It was an action that uh, will make you feel you are not good enough. It is a point of collapse, of crushing, of crumbling for every woman or even a man when uh, cheating happens and, and lying. And then worst of all, when it comes into the public, and then you have statements coming out, you have everyone throwing their opinions around, it can be so heartbreaking. What are the key things that these young people did that I want to share with us today? In the event that cheating happens to you, young lady, you've just been married, you feel uh, you're committed, and you feel your relationship is really at that safe place, and then such a story shows up. One, I admire that Flavia, probably, she must have realized that this, if cheating happened, is not her problem. That is very fundamental, to know that someone cheating is not your problem. And so you should never hang yourself or kill yourself trying to find out what you did wrong, what you didn't do wrong. Let me tell you, you can do a thousand and one things. Dress well, keep the home so well, look so good, work and you probably have your own money, but the man will go out and cheat, or the lady will go out and cheat. The reason she kept her cool, I am so certain, she realized that this was not her problem, it, was, it must have been her husband's problem, and so he had to deal with it the more reason she didn't lose her head. 
I have seen many times when cheating happens, the lady, people tell you, oh, you didn't give him enough time, or you don't dress so well, or you don't keep the home so well, or because you don't have money, or because you have become so fat, because you have become too small, or because they will make sure they throw at you every reason to make you take responsibility for somebody else's mistake, for somebody else's uh, sin. Let me tell you, dear ladies, don't take responsibility. He has to take the responsibility. Or oh, for gentlemen, she has to take responsibility for her action. Don't be depressed about somebody else's action. Number two, Flavia didn't come out to the public to give statements. I didn't see any statement on TV, a statement on radio. I didn't see many statements judging her husband or doing anything. She probably understood that an incident does not determine who Kabura is. It happened, he has seen, he's probably trying to deal with it. So that is not enough reason to sentence the man for the rest of his life. We have had so many people that we know. They cheated, they betrayed, they did so many things. But when the grace of God touched them, they changed to be the best that they could. And so Flavia didn't judge her husband. Of course she was hurt, if it is true. Of course she was disappointed, if it is true. But she didn't come to, to sentence him as a cheat in public. Whatever they are doing, maybe they are getting private support, family support, uh, support from their circle of friends to help them build themselves together once again. I'm sure if she was a bad woman, she would have come out to say she is going to revenge. Now, some people said, if you see a woman keep quiet when you have cheated on her, then she is planning to do the same. Now, revenging doesn't make it any easy. At that moment of, of anger, of pain, of hurt, if you choose to revenge, you are going to make so many mistakes and they will be regrettable. The husband must have done a lot of pleading and remorse and, and petitioning his wife to make sure that she remains sane. And so if your husband asks you for forgiveness, please do. Don't take it to the public. Don't take it to the children. When you involve the children, the healing will take a long process because children rarely forgive someone who has hurt their mother. So taking it to the children will make the healing process very long and it will take longer and, and probably the depression will come in and so much will happen. Let me ask a question. It's a simple one. Now, if your husband cheats, okay, and you pack out of the house, you're probably married two years or even 10 years, you're still young. If he cheats and you pack your bags and get out of the home mm -hmm, because he has cheated. Now, one year down the road, if things don't work out and you're back together, the husband, of course, will marry another woman and she will come in in the home. She may never marry, but he will continue the business and going out with other women. Now, let me tell you what is going to happen to you, young lady. You are going to start also sleeping with other men. Yes, you will be sleeping with other men and it will not be young men. They will be married men. Now, do you see how separating because of cheating has landed you to do the same thing that was done to you and you've done it to another woman? And so I will encourage you, stay in that home and work out uh, a solution and make this marriage stand better. A marriage that has passed through such and there is forgiveness and there is remorse and there is healing, such marriages are always going to be strong and it is going to stand firm and it will stand the test of time. And in their senior age, when they have turned 70, 80 years, they will look back and they will be glad they didn't run out of the marriages. Now, when you do something that is with 
out of your values. For instance, you go and attack this lady, the one they cheated with. You write about them on social media. Make uh, a public nuisance about them. It is not them that are being ashamed. You are only showing uh, that you have no values. Don't tamper with her. The problem is not her. The problem is your husband who went to look for her. So don't involve yourself in such a fight because it, it causes disrespect upon your life. Don't fight. It's not worth it. If someone walks away from you and goes and looks for another woman, they are probably determined to go with the other woman. And in the event that this lady, uh, the gentleman, decides to leave you and go with the other lady, if you are in your home, stay in your home and forget about him. Stay in your home and hear. Don't run away. Don't leave your kids. Don't pack them to go out there. Stay in your home and build your self-esteem and, and make the best. Don't be desperate. Don't fight for a man who is not fighting for you. Ask yourself, is this man chasing me or he's chasing the other one? If the two of you run, okay? If the, the side chick or the mistress or the girlfriend is running and you're also running, who is he going to chase? Now, if you realize that he's chasing the other lady, and not you, he is defending the other lady and he's not defending you, give it up. It's not worth pursuing. It is not worth pursuing at all. It is not worth pursuing. And so you give it up. I will conclude like this. Cheating is not uh, a huge sin different from other sins that we consider small. A person who lies, actually the Bible calls liars children of the devil because they are de the devil is the father of liars. A person who is jealous, a person who is proud. Remember pride is the only sin that threw Lucifer from heaven to the lost glory that he is suffering right now. All those are the same sins, even cheating and, and lying and hate and witchcraft. All of them are sin. There is no small sin. There is no big sin. So if you are able to, to forgive one sin, even cheating you can forgive. For the sake of forgiveness, let's give our marriages chances. Let's not run away at every small thing that comes. Let's learn to know that if this has happened and we get out of it uh, today, we can grow stronger and we can be able to, to be better. We can be able to be better and stronger in this relationship. I salute you, Flavia, for keeping your marriage, for not talking, for not answering the so many things that were talked for keeping your peace and calm and handling your things in private. You are a jewel. Flavia, you are more than just a lady. You are a superstar. You are blessed and highly favored. And watch the space. Andrew will love you. You will grow together in your old age and you will smile Remembering the past, how what you went through, you will smile and your children and grandchildren will call you blessed. Flavia, I love you so much. God bless you. Kindly subscribe and like this video and let us learn together and let us grow. Your likes and your comments will help me to grow. Goodbye for now.